Hello guys, it's Rain here, and um, I know I haven't done a commentary in a while, but uh, I just decided to uh, do a quick commentary. Because um, I was just watching Drifter's video the other day, that uh, he posted about, well firstly I'll just like to say that you notice some, some of these parts are uh, sped up and cut out, because I just wanted to make the video a bit more entertaining. I've cut out all the kill streaks and sped up some really slow moments like that at the start of the year. <coughs> and anyway, back into the topic. I was watching Drifter's video about um, the assault kill streak strategy, and I I really think that his class, the class he suggested, is really good. It's actually the one I'm using in this game: the Predator missile, then the Reaper, and the AC-130. And I do pretty well. I go 73 and 4 in the end. It's a it's a pretty good gameplay. I enjoyed it. I enjoyed getting it. It was like nine minutes, so I just cut it down. That's that's why, because I know you guys don't want to watch a nine minute video. So um, I'd just like to say that firstly. He mentioned how there should be different roles, the slayers and then the supporters. But I think that you shouldn't really have to split people into both different groups. I think that the supporters can do a bit of slaying, the slayers can do a bit of supporting, if you get what I mean. How, um, see, like, just, like, uh, like, places like here. I'm, I'm capping a flag. Oh, oh. I, uh, even in the beginning, I'm being a slayer right now, using the assault strike package, but I'm still... Look, I'm still capping positions. Um, I think that it's very vital, even if you are being one of the people who's just, you know, defends flags with your air support, or, um, you know, just, just people who picks people off, someone who picks people off when they're capping the flags. I still think that you should should uh, go in for a cap, two caps, three caps, four caps. I'd say uh, if you don't have at least, if I don't have at least four caps in a game, I consider it an unsuccessful game, whether we win, lose. I think I personally was unsuccessful that game. Even if I go, well not maybe if I go 100 no, but you know, if I go like a 50 and 50 and 4, but I don't get the 3, 4 cap, if I only get like 1 capture, which is the base flag, I'll be really disappointed in myself. And I uh, probably wouldn't even post it. It's a good score, but I just didn't play objectively. I think that, I think that as playing Call of Duty, it's a right that you have to, it sounds a bit weird, but <laughs> it's just a, like a right to just help your teammates, you know, cap a flag, obviously the base flag, that's an easy one, you know, maybe capture the B flag as well, help your team win the game, you know, just stuff like that, general stuff like that, in this game, I, well, I think we've like pretty much beat the enemies by whopping them up, and uh, the next gameplay I post will actually be in Moab, where we demolish the en literally demolish the enemies really badly, it's really fast, like two minute Moab, and uh, we really demolish the enemies. I think it was like 200 to 83 in the end. But um, <coughs> even the supporters, I think they could take on a role of a more uh, a more attacking role. You know, someone who uh, you know picks picks off all the people. As you can see, there's my other friend. He's he's really good at this game. He's my cousin actually. I play with him a lot. You might have seen him in my other videos, but um, he's got his reaper right now and he gets a payload as well. So this game, why did we win? Why did we win this game? It's because we had the good balance. We had the Slayers, me and uh, my cousin, but we were uh, the Slayers were also capturing, as well as the supporters, which were capturing and helping the Slayers, you know, by uh, maybe using a UAV, you know, uh, capping a flag or two while we capped as well, and that's what makes a successful game, that's how to get the win, you know, even if you are a Slayer, I think you should cap, still cap, if I'm being a supporter, I try and get like eight caps, seven caps in a game, but I really still think you should cap if you're a slayer, as I've said many times. <laughs> oh, I get a nice little wall bang there. And another thing that uh, he mentioned is how the Osprey Gunner gets uh, shot down really cl quickly, and um, so does the Pavlo and some other kill streaks. that's why I don't use him. However, I think that right there. Um, the Osprey Gunner is a very, very good kill streak if the... Um, Depends. Depends what map, honestly, you're playing on. If you're in a map where there's a uh, big, 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 big area and there's lots of people spread out everywhere, then the Osprey Gunner. But for something like Os Osprey Gunner is bad. But for something like Dome, I think Osprey Gunner is probably really, really, really good because even if they do add Blind Eye and the Stinger, you can still take them out because the map is really, really small. The spawns are really, really packed in. So if you shoot someone else, if you shoot someone who's not using Blind Eye, you'll probably end up killing the one with Blind Eye as well because of how packed this map is. That's why I think the kill streaks I use depend on the map I'm playing on. 
Usually, if I'm playing Dome and the enemies are pretty bad, I'll use the uh, my kill horroring setup, which is Reaper, Pave Low, Osprey. This game, I was using Pred Reaper, as you want to And um, I just think that it's a vital part to the game, like knowing what part you are, but helping as well, helping your team advance in the game. Because, I mean, if all you do is just kill people, the team's going to get nowhere. So anyway, if you like this commentary, please uh, leave a like, uh, like rating, a sub, really helps out, share it with your friends, whatever. And um, that's pretty much it.